Okay, here is a short uh, build video of the uh, Wii Mini Wing. Uh, as you can see, here's the components. Um, give you a bit of scale where you can see the scale with my hands or this pen. Uh, it's 400 millimeters uh, wingspan, and these are the components you'll get in the pack. Uh, you have top section, bottom section of the wing, motor mount made out of light ply. Two ailerons, flapperons, whatever. Uh, front section, an extra piece there for the motor mount. Two winglets, and the little spacers that give you the wing curvature. Okay, and you get a couple of little uh, rapid prototype grown uh, control horns, as you can see grown a batch of them so uh, I have a few there okay first of all you separate the two halves and I use Yoohoo pour recommend Yoohoo pour actually um, I suppose you could use hot glue but uh, I think this will probably be better and lighter at the end of the day now I'm not going to glue this together I'm just going to show you where and what sort of order the parts uh, get put together in. Right, you can see these have a taper. So first of all, you glue along the one edge and place over the top of this marker here on the end wing tip. Put your finger on it and you press down the other half meeting up with the end of this cutout. So on there, down to there and you push down all the way along as so then I usually pull it off that way I've got glue then on both sides I'll put this down and leave it to dry then I get the next piece same again glue across the edge onto the tip of there pull it out straight put it down in line glue across remove it put it down let it dry uh, well tack dry as you know with this stuff then you can place down the other parts, put one on the end and what I do is I line it up because as soon as you make contact it's going to be drying and then just keep this end slightly off the ground like a, so it's doing a wheelie then push down so it's in place as so and same with the other one okay I'll just place it there for now to show you so at this stage you've got both of them stuck in now this piece here what I usually do, and it doesn't actually come in the kit, is this is a piece of 5mm um, by 1mm carbon fibre. It's not completely necessary, but um, I use it on my ones, just to give it a little bit of strength. And I glue that to the back of this piece of poly here. Same length, just cut it off, glue it on, first of all. Once that's glued, uh, same thing as this, but what it does, this here is going to go underneath here in between the separation and the wing tip. Now you can measure from here down to find out what it is and from here up to find out what it is. Make a couple of marks and basically it glues across here. Okay. When your wing comes folding down on it, it will only glue to this top half. Okay. It won't actually go up to the ends because as you can see there it's shallower than the two uh, where it meets at these two. So it gives you a little bit of strength going across, that's why I use the carbon fibre. But um, like I said, you'd have to, um, if you want to put carbon fibre in, you can supply that yourself. A small stick, um, cocktail, um, a skewer, wooden skewer, bamboo skewer might go across there if you want, anything like that. Uh, keep it nice and light, just go across, it'll keep it stronger if, if you want it, you know. But the, the curve of the wings keeps it pretty rigid anyway, so I don't think you're really going to need it. Okay, next part, once these are glued in, you then glue this down to one side, the front part, which should fit in nicely. You can glue that on first if you like, if you, um, that will probably give you a line up for these two uh, when you uh, come and do it. Okay, so glue that one in. 
and then you glue the back piece in as right, so okay um, you can use this piece of wood if you like while you're gluing it just to make sure it stays central but um, I just look down it glue it on glue it in place and that's it so at this stage it should look like this okay then I usually put glue along the tail edge glue on top of all of these and glue on the leading edge then I also I smear this with my finger to make it thin here and here on the leading edge and the trailing edge uh, just to make it thin on these ones here you don't really need to because you can come along to this push it down on top of it pull it off like you did earlier to give you the glue marks going across this gives you glue on both sides so it can tack off when you place it back on then once it's tacked off and it's ready and you've also smeared glue on the leading edges of these ones so it'll make contact with these afterwards you can place it on top looking down you've got the little notches on there so I usually notch onto there and make sure it's in line with the leading edge and just glue it together like a sandwich as so okay and there you have that once that's glued in place you can then I usually get a ruler like so and I push on the trailing edge so it sticks then I come over to here and I push down on the trailing edge again so it sticks once that's done I then get hold of the leading edge same thing put a ruler on top of it like so and then push down so the two halves meet and the same with this one you can if you want pick it up and go along and make sure it lines up doing it like that if you want to um, either way whatever way you're happy with and that's that now basically that would be the wing there complete so we'll put that to one side the next thing is the two little horns um, you might as well clean these up at this stage when they come because they're on the rapid prototyper um, you get like a little overspread um, on them which can be cleaned up if you just get hold of the, the knife and like you're just scrape it up the side using the craft knife and this removes that little flash in if you like so that cleans them up just around the outside edge So, and then they're cleaned up. So you can actually see that there's three little holes running down through it. Now, if you um, if they're a little bit blocked up or whatever, just get a one mil um, drill bit and push them through. I don't want to teach you how to suck eggs. You know, uh, I'm sure you know how to clean out a hole. And there you have it, the little horns. Um, once you've glued the wing together with the two halves, we we'll say this wing is finished with the two halves. You want to tape your ailerons onto the edge. Now, before you tape these on, I'll just put these horns to one side. What I usually do is I put a taper on one of the on the front edge of this doing this I put the ruler on it and I leave about three millimeters showing of that edge I get a scalpel and at an angle I just slice across making sure you don't cut the whole thing in half you all you're doing is cutting this edge off this is given, going to give you a slope um, you do get a slight slope uh, with the cutting of the laser as it as it cuts through obviously it's hotter at the bottom so it gives it a slight slope you just want to increase this slope so have a look at them first of all and make sure the slopes go in you know which direction they're going and then just exaggerate that slope slightly you can do this with sandpaper, sandpaper if you want if you're not uh, 
too happy with a blade, I just use a blade. But I mean, you can get a block, sanding block, put this down flat on an edge of something so it doesn't buckle, and just sand the side off. Again, you, you know, I'm, I'm sure you can uh, do this sort of thing. So these are now on here. So once they're taped on, uh, tape them on the normal way you normally would with a thingy. Now, with the servo horn, all I do once it's done is once the servo's in, I will mark a line down to where the um, control horn or control wire, if you like, is um, in line with this. Connect it onto here and then just push a mark into the aileron. Get your knife. Place a, a you know a slice through it, and then again I put a little bit of um, yuhu pour on one edge or well, both edges, both sides. I push it into the hole, pull it out, leave it for a couple of minutes, push it back in again, and that's it. It's uh, it's in there rigid then, in there solid. And um, as you can see on, as you can see what I've done here on the glider version. Uh, you can see here where I've lined them up and just pushed them through. Um, they just slightly come out the back edge, so that's, that's fine. They're nice and light, and, and like I said, once I glued in like that, they're never going to come out. So I'll put that to one side. Um, so that's pretty much it, really. Uh, the only reason this video was here was just to really show you the order for the, um, for the insides, if, you know, uh, what you're going to be doing there. Like I said, I would recommend... Um, it was a little bit of an afterthought from the video, but glue this one in first and then glue these ones up, you know, so when it's on the end there, up against it, uh, up against the edge, okay, of that. Uh, and apart from that, uh, that's pretty much it. If you've got any more questions, uh, send me an email and I can uh, help you out. Okay, thanks for that.